Hey, how's it going? This is Joe and Tell. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the PSB Alpha P5. Before we get into it, here's a quick message from our show sponsor. OSD Black is a high-performance line of upgraded speaker and electronics products, SVS, providing thrilling and immersive high-end sound with unmatched performance for the price. Have you ever wanted to attend the Hi-Fi trade show but couldn't? Now you can. On June 26th to 30th, the Hi-Fi Summit begins. It's going to be a five-day event available to people worldwide. There you can see your favorite brands and you'll get to see all the new products before anybody else. If you're shopping for products, you can even narrow down your search based on price and other specific criteria. You'll be able to chat live with other audio enthusiasts, ask questions about products and get them answered directly by the companies. You'll be able to vote for best in show. You can even leave testimonials for your favorite brands. Tickets are $49 for all five days, but if you sign up before June, you'll be able to get them at the early bird special of $24 for all five days. Those with tickets will be able to see show specials, exclusive discounts, as well as entering contest giveaways for some ridiculously awesome prizes, like entire systems crazy prices if you can't buy a ticket we completely understand we're going to be live streaming all the seminars for free to the general public also after the show's over we're going to open up the site for everyone to see but no trade shows complete without an after party so we're going to have dj chana da silva aka techno dad spinning every single night so you'll be able to sit back at home enjoy the music bump it on your system dance do whatever you want to do he's even planning on doing an audiophile night where he's going to play his favorite audiophile test tracks you can play them on your system and he'll tell you what he's looking for every step of the way it's going to be awesome go to the hi-fi summit.com buy your ticket and let your hi-fi journey to the top begin all right so behind me i have the psb alpha p5 i've had these for a while i've unboxed them and I got a chance to listen to them for a good while, so I do know their sound characteristics, and I want to tell you all about it. So first things first, these are some small speakers, and uh, build quality, I like everything about the build quality, and there's something special here that I want to take a look at, and that's the grill. So right now I have the grill off, but here it is with it on, and as you can tell, it's just a metal grill, all magnetic, so something here is magnetic. I'm not sure if it's the grill or what's behind here. But yeah, you can see here that this is a very thin grill. That's it. That's all you that's all you get. And when I had Paul Barton on the podcast, he said that he designed it like this because it's so thin and so close to the actual drivers that it doesn't affect the sound. And that's what he told me. I had to measure it for myself just to see if that's the case. We'll take a look at that in a bit. But yeah, overall, I'm digging this grill. I like the, I think everybody should just copy this. This is, this is the best way to do a grill. So you can see it has a five and a quarter polypropylene woofer and something different here. Instead of a soft dome tweeter, this is using a three quarters of an inch aluminum dome tweeter. You'll also notice a little bit of a wave guide here. So that should help with the off axis response. Now here you can see the vinyl finish on here. And to me, this is one of the best that I've seen especially for a speaker in this price category. Right now, these are selling for $3.99 for a pair. Again, these are some small speakers, and so I didn't expect them to have much bass, but they surprised me again. So a few interesting things that you'll notice is that it is rear ported, has a five-way binding post, but over here, you also see a place where you can mount it. So this looks like a maybe a quarter 20 thread, and so... Yeah, you can mount these on the wall. Now, how do they sound? To me, I would say that these are very balanced. I mean, Paul Barton is known for his research. He had access to a facility there in Canada where he was able to do a lot of testing in an anechoic chamber. And so lots of testing, uh, very scientific in his way of tuning speakers. And so I love that. And these speakers reflect that sound. To me, they sound tonally accurate. They sound balanced. And nothing about them really sticks out. I mean, that's not to say that they're boring or clinical. That's not my experience. I just felt like, yeah, they did what they're supposed to do. I would say, you know, to me, clinical is something like a studio monitor or something like that is, is clinical to me. But, um, yeah, these were not clinical. They were accurate. You know, they're accurate. They're still enjoyable. 
if I had to complain about anything on these, I would say that the base, of course, this is a smaller enclosure. The base is not the most base that I've heard in a bookshelf speaker. And that is what you would expect. No surprise there. And the treble, you know, most of the time you think of an aluminum dome tweeter, you think maybe a little bit bright or some, some kind of harsh, um, maybe sibilant. And that was not my experience at all. The way he tuned it seems like he kind of tamed the highs. He made it pleasing and he could have made it more accurate, I believe, if he wanted to. But I feel like he just went for more of a pleasing, smooth approach. And I think that was a good choice. Vocals sound good here. The mid-range, everything sounds nice and balanced. And let's take a look at the frequency response that I got in room. These are to be taken with a grain of salt because these are in-room measurements. But I've taken a few just to give you an idea what I was measuring. All right, so this is my measurement of the PSB Alpha P5 in room. And so you see I was calibrated for about 85 decibels. And you see this is a pretty smooth response. So this is using psychoacoustic smoothing. And you see here that everything is relatively flat. But like I was saying here, the treble kind of dips off slightly here around three kilohertz nothing crazy um so this is without the port taken into account with the port you see that it extends the base as you'd expect so let's take a look at that uh the minus three db point here seemed like it was somewhere around 40 hertz very respectable for a speaker this size minus six db around 35 so yeah, my in-room response was very good on these. No complaints. I mean, the bass was not thunderous, anything like that, but more than enough for most people, especially if you're going to use a sub. Now, here's something to notice. Here's with it with no grill. And Paul Barton said that there shouldn't be any change with the grill because it's so close. But in my measurements, I see that it does lift the treble response slightly which I don't mind. I don't mind it being a little bit brighter. At least it's consistent, nothing crazy here. But I did notice I've done a few measurements and it did lift up the treble a little bit. So maybe it was my measurement, maybe I did something wrong, but that's what I found. Overall, balanced speaker. So now let's take a look at the speaker leaderboard and see where these speakers place. All right, here we are. We're back at the speaker leaderboard and here we have the PSB Alpha P5s. All right, so best bookshelf. These are $399, and I was, I mean, overall, I'm impressed. I'm a PSB fan now after hearing these, and I would have to say, you know, I'm kind of curious to hear some of their more expensive models to see how they perform. Um, these here, all these are very accurate. I'm going to have to go ahead and put the PSB Alpha P5. See, here's the thing. These are more accurate than these edifiers. But these edifiers are powered and they can hit lower, okay? Um, the 306P, these measure very well. Well, I don't know. These had a, that weird dip. But these measure well. I'm going to have to put the Alpha P5s. Really, I'm going to put them above the S2000 Pro because I prefer that accurate, tonally balanced uh, sound signature Compared to the edifiers, they're a little bit all over the place. Um, these Hercules Monitor 5s are, are studio monitors. Yeah, I mean, these are all very close. So even though these might place above it, it doesn't mean that they're that far apart, right? So, I mean, if I were to move these 5 up and put them, um, let's say, somewhere around here near the Wharfdale Diamond 11.1s, I mean, that would be fine too. So just keep in mind, these are all very close. But yeah, somewhere around here, Alpha P5s. Now, best for desktop. Um, these are not powered, so you are going to need something to power them. And that would knock it down a few just because it needs to be powered. Um, I would say on a desk, they would be... I would put them, if you have an amp, right? So... If you're willing to amplify these, okay, so sound-wise, I would put them above some of these. I, I would put them above the Fluence, sound-wise. But for a desk, if you don't want clutter, you might prefer some of these other speakers. They're not better speakers per se, but just better for a desk, 
Does that make sense? All right, so these are not better speakers, just better for a desk. So I'm going to put them over here. Boom, that's where they land. All right, so these are $3.99 right now. I'm going to place it here for a second. And let's see where it places best under $500. Um, so on the top, we have the ELAC UB5s, the Wharfdale Crystal 4.3s, floor standards. That's crazy. Um, this is kind of not fair because this is a DIY. Um, best under $500. I would say right here, interchangeable between these and the Diamond 11.1s. Very close, you know. Um, I just kind of like the look of the Diamonds a little bit more. They have maybe a little bit more base. They had the rounded corners. I mean, these are very close either way. And last but not least, let's see where they placed best overall. Let me place them here temporarily. All right, so top is still the Wharfdale Denton 85th Anniversaries. Best overall regardless of price. So this is for sound quality only. And I would say sound quality, I'm going to have to put them enjoyability-wise... I'm going to put them, mm, I'm going to put them, mm, I'm going to put them pretty high because I like the sound quality of these. For pure sound quality, I'm going to put them, hmm, pure sound quality. Man, because this has, these are powered, the Canto Tuck has, is, has a lot of bass, but frequency response is kind of all over the place. So sound quality, I'm going to have to put the Alpha P5s real high, uh, right up here, very high on uh, the best overall quality. So with a sub, I think these Alpha P5s are going to be amazing. In a home theater, yeah, I would love those. So there you have it. That's where they place on the speaker leaderboard. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And once again, thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you for allowing me to do what I love to do here on YouTube. Anyway, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.